All right, what's going on guys? Tread back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a quick sort of giving my thoughts on, I won't really call it a review, but giving my thoughts on a new teaser for Fear of the Walking Dead, which of course starts in August. And gonna be doing some channel updates, letting you guys know what you can expect to see from the channel throughout the rest of the summer. Okay, so I'll put the link in the description for the teaser for you guys. You can go ahead and check it out. It's from AMC. It's a first look promo. Uh, Nick's Escape, Fear the Walking Dead series premiere. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. It still says August. We don't have an exact date yet. Hopefully we'll get one soon. I'm also hoping it's going to be on Sunday nights, uh, as you know the regular Walking Dead is, and, and I'm kind of used to that Sunday night release schedule um, you know, throughout the year with the regular Walking Dead. So uh, it's about 30 seconds, and it's it, a lot, really, we've kind of seen it before, only before we saw it in the uh, coming in 2015 uh, type sort of trailer, where AMC had all the different clips of different shows and stuff like that in it, and we had this one where you have uh, Nick Tompkins or <laughs> Frank DeLade who's playing Nick, and he's, you know, he's running down the street, and you can see, you see the Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, so in this one, we actually see him like from the beginning climb out the window, and then it, uh, this just grungy, disgusting-looking place. You can see this car on the streets all like rusted and broken down and destroyed. Uh, and he basically climbs out the window, and uh, he motors pretty good, to be honest. I mean, somewhat similar to uh, to Bob in season uh, season five, uh, Officer Bob, because of course we have a couple of Bobs uh, when he when he, he hightails it out of there with his uh, <laughs> his hands handcuffed. But uh, Frank DeLink could motor pretty good, man. So either we're seeing the start of the zombie apocalypse, or maybe his uh, <laughs> his uh, sweetie's dad just came home early from work and doesn't know that she has a boyfriend. I don't know. <laughs> you know, something's going on. Uh, you don't go window hopping just for no reason and, you know, run with that sheer look of terror on your face. So it's pretty funny. Check it out yourself and uh, let me know what you think. There's also these tones that it look like, uh, like, you know, some kind of Hollywood movie, like, dur, you know, whatever, whatever kind of horn that is. You know, you hear it in all the different movies, you know, rrr, rrr, you know all the trailers of that. It doesn't feel like the regular The Walking Dead, and I kind of like that because I'm, I'm assuming the theme and everything is going to be different. You know, we're not going to have the uh doo -doo 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 -doo, you know you know the regular the regular walkie dead sound of course i don't think bear's involved with this one he's the one who did the score for the original uh but we can see that the the trailer and they also show this on the walking dead.com has been grungied up so it looks like a broken uh concrete which is kind of cool uh because originally it was called cobalt and that kind of title makes me think of like you know cobalt like shattered concrete or you know something like that for the uh for the font so that's cool so that's pretty much all i can say about the quick little uh first look promo at you know at this time that's really all there is to it so let me know what you guys think about it what do you think is happening there do you think it's a zombie or his first uh, his first encounter or do you think he's uh, been almost caught doing something he probably shouldn't be doing i don't know I don't know. I, I tend to think probably the latter. So it should be fun, man. I am I'm looking forward to Fear the Walking Dead quite a bit. I really hope it's uh you know, not the same as the original, but but I hope that it's, you know, of the same quality and that it's got its own unique feel and that it's a lot of fun. That said it's only six episodes, so let's not get too crazy. It's not like we're getting a sixteen episode huge uh, season, but it could be the start of something awesome, and, and for that, I am happy. So I uh, wanted to do kind of a quick little update in addition to that, give you guys an idea of what you can expect to see from the channel for the summertime, um, because of course now GOT is over, and I actually may take the poster down, or well, the banner down until next year, and then rehang it next year. Uh, some people want to see the Daryl behind there back again. Um, so I'll probably do that, and we've got lots of awesome stuff coming up this summer. It's actually way better than the previous summers I've been, you know, doing reviews on YouTube and that for, what is it, like five years now? Four years in this uh, this channel? Like four years in this channel, and then prior I had some other channels that got shut down and stuff, and YouTube used to be way more strict with using stuff. If you use pictures or clips or anything, boom, you'd get striked instantly. You'd be shut down. If you used anything from a trailer, boom, you'd be done. That That'd be it. Um, and people do it like crazy now, and they, they allow them to get away with it, which is pretty cool. I, I use some little things, pictures and stuff, which has always kind of been okay, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, so so upcoming stuff for the summertime. We've got, of course, Under the Dome, which is starting soon, uh, I think within about a week or two. Uh, yeah, should be coming up. I think that's on Thursdays this year. Um, did a video on that before, so going to be reviewing Season 3 of that. I figured, you know, I'll finish it up. We'll see how the premiere is. I'll do a review for the premiere, and I'll let you guys know. If I'm going to cancel that one and just stop reviewing that altogether, I'll let you guys know. But I feel like I've been doing it 
for the first two seasons. Really like the first season. Second season, you guys know where I'm at with that. So I'm going to continue with the reviews for that. It's a decent show to watch during the summer when Game of Thrones, Walking Dead's not on. So this year, it'll be a little bit less painful because we'll have Fear of the Walking Dead, which is awesome. Of course, we'll do reviews for that too. Uh, but I'm excited for Under the Dome. In addition to that, this year, we also have a, a new season of True Detective, which is awesome because you guys know I reviewed the first season uh, last year. And um, True Detective on HBO, an amazing show, man. At least the first season was incredible. Second season's like a new story, so it's like a new set of characters, new set of circumstances, different. But you've got some pretty high-profile people in it. Check it out. Uh, you can look it up, uh, True Detective Season 2 trailer, and you can find it, man. You've got, uh, I think, um, Colin Farrell, I believe, and Vince Vaughn's in it, and, and there's others, too, man. It's it's pretty high-profile, So because there was Matthew McConaughey in the last one and Woody Harrelson. So True Detective's awesome. Excited for that. That should be starting real soon. I think it's this weekend, actually. I have to double-check that. So that's coming up. Like I said, Fear Dead, The Walking Dead, of course, when we get back into October and the fall. Um, Going to continue with Gotham. Love Gotham Season 1. Can't wait for Season 2. Really excited for that. Z Nation Season 2. Um, <laughs> more people, uh, you know, like that show than I ever would have imagined, man. Ever would have thought. So I'm going to continue with Z Nation. Going to review Season 2 probably. It's just a lot of fun. You know, in no way, shape, or form is it as good as The Walking Dead. In no way. It doesn't claim to be. And it's just a lot of fun. So going to do that when we get back into the fall. And then Dragon Ball Super, of course, airs in, in August. So excited for that as well, too. Uh, going to definitely be doing uh, reviews for every episode of that. And probably, you know, your random other stuff that comes up as we as we go through maybe other random shows I pick up. If you guys have any suggestions, send them to me. And uh, maybe a movie here or two. There are some reviews of those. So it, it depends. It depends if I get time to actually go to the theaters and all that. But in terms of, like, new shows, that's pretty much what we're looking at for this summer under the dome. Uh, True Detective, and then, of course, Fear Dead and Dragon Ball Super, and then that brings us into next year. Uh, should be a great year again this year. Better Call Saul Season 2, The Walking Dead, of course, still strong as always, and all the other stuff, awesome stuff going on. Looking forward to quite a bit. So if you guys have any video suggestions, send them to me. I want to do a Game of Thrones Q&A, but I don't have enough questions. So if you guys have some more questions for it, you can send them to me. Otherwise, I may have to scour the web to try to find some. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to say a very special thank you to uh, Cameron Carter, who uh, pledged some... Um, uh, cash for the channel, which was pretty sweet, um, in the Patreon account. So I do have a Patreon account if you guys don't know about that. And what it is basically is you can sign up to pledge any amount you want, even if it's like a dollar a month or five bucks, ten bucks, thirty bucks, whatever. Um, you know, and it basically just goes to help keep me doing exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and you can, you know, you get higher priority for the Q and A's, you get higher priority for uh, video suggestions and things like that. So I want to say a very special thank you to him. And if anybody else wants to, uh, you know, pledge for the channel, you can do so in the Patreon link. I'll put it in the in the description below. And yeah, that's all I got for for this one for you guys for channel updates. Of course, Walking Dead comic series stuff will continue. Everything else will continue as usual. And send me any other additional requests you guys have. And I'll try to make as many videos as I can for you all summer long. We're going to have lots of fun. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think about the Fear Dead trailer. Or not really trailer, promo. And, um, yeah, write your comments below. If you like the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, bottom left, to go ahead and subscribe. If you want to check out Patreon, links in the description. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again real soon for more reviews. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace.